Okay, so you know with the new camper mode, the official camper mode, well, it's not called camper mode, but everyone calls it camper mode. Uh, in the Model X and S, you can now camp in your car, sleep in the car, and still keep the heat running. And uh, you know, the question many people ask is, how much energy do you consume during the night or something? So, well, one person who has probably slept a lot in the car is, I think I'm the one in the world who has slept the most days in my car. Uh, but anyway, so how much energy do you consume? Well, I already have some numbers for Model S. It seems like, remember from before, it was like seven uh, kilometers per hour, which is, which is like five miles per hour. But that is the Model S. The Model X is bigger. And also the Model X has, at least if you have the, the six or the seven seat configuration, you can get a uh, heater in the back and that is very nice. So um, uh, the way I set it up is that uh, you have to switch this uh, keep climate on and then everything will turn into auto and then you adjust your settings. And I just leave um, everything on auto except that I want uh, the heater to be on my feet. Well, it doesn't matter really. And I put uh, the fan speed to the lowest and also I chose 21 degrees Celsius. So it's up to you guys. Uh, and also for the rear, I left, I just leave it on automatic. Uh, but just make sure that uh, it, the rear uh, goes on. But it, it depends, of course, where you want to sleep. If you want to sleep in the front seat, then you want to have the front heater on and the rear heater off. Uh, but I slept in the trunk. It's back there. It's like the best place. Um, so then I have to have, have the rear heater on. And that probably consumes more, you know, compared to the Model S. So um, uh, outside the temperature was uh, minus 2 around there, average. So kind of cold and but no not too much wind and I measured nine kilometers per hour or six miles per hour during the night uh, that equals to 1.9 kilowatt which is uh, higher than model X sorry or the other way higher than model S so um, yeah uh, but I have some I use the Evonex uh, windshield um, uh, the block uh, the, the light so you know that that might contribute to reducing the the heat loss so maybe if you for some reason don't have anything to cover your windows when you camp then your consumption might be higher and also this is you know based on the the, the conditions i showed you uh, of course if you want higher temperature in the car if it's colder outside if it's uh, blowing outside then your consumption will be higher or the other way if it's warm outside you know like 15 20 then uh, the consumption might be way lower than that yeah, but it's just to give you an idea how much you consume over the night. So, uh, in general, you know, you have to expect uh, well, some like significant uh, energy draw. Uh, so, what you should do is, uh, if if you pass by supercharges, charge enough, charge to let's say ninety percent or whatever, depending on where the next supercharger is. Uh, but um, uh, you you uh, want to try to charge up in the night. I mean, the night before you sleep. Don't try to charge up in the morning because then the battery pack will be pretty cold and they will get really slow speed unless of course you have enough juice to drive let's say half an hour one hour before the supercharge then it's okay yeah so it happens a couple of times when <laughs> i woke up in the morning i was like okay let me supercharge or let me even you know charge them more charge i'm like oh this is super slow okay whatever let's drive some more yeah so anyway i hope this was useful for you and uh, happy camping oh yeah all right bye bye